Um, Corey, you know the drill. What's the intro? See it right to the camera. This is your third time now. Um, this podcast is. Just, it's not. I know. So stop there. Is, empo- is, is empowered by. Just go for it. That's right. All right. Hold on. Let me get. It, let me get it in my head. You guys make me so nervous. You got this. Okay. Okay. Hold on. You know, you, you can't. You can't look at me when I'm trying. Okay. To do no, it. we have to. Just yeah. Go. This broadcast is. Did you say broadcast. Yes. It's a podcast. podcast. See, this is what I'm talking about. You make me nervous. You got it. You it, got it. We are broadcasting information. We are. We, yeah, we, we are. are. We're almost a news channel. Yeah, almost. This podcast is brought to you by Sunday Cool and powered, powered by love. Oh, and Sunday Cool. And Sunday Cool. I said Sunday Cool. Yeah. Twice Sunday Cool. Watch this. Or listen. Watch or listen th- here. Yep. <laughs> hey guys just real quick before we start the episode listen we are now in the new year 2024 is here and we want to be your one-stop shop for every event that goes for your business for your church your vbs whatever it may be i agree yes he's, i don't know what he's saying but hey listen i just want to encourage you to go to sundaycool.com to order all your custom merch hats stickers shirts hoodies everything you could possibly need for your event can be done here at sundaycool.com. Excuse me. I completely agree with everything Andy said. In fact, I'm proud of you, Andy. I'm proud of everything that you've accomplished. The one thing that I do wish is that you had your father. You heard the man. I didn't. I have no idea what he's saying. Um, But listen, sundaycool.com. Love you guys. Now go back to the episode. Let's go. You are just a boy without a father. And it makes me sad. Makes me sad that... You grew up without him, and I do hope the best for you. And I, but it's amazing of the man that you've become. Um, where do you go? Sundaycool.com. Go now. I'll get that great card. Yeah, have you guys seen Sunshine yet? No. Sure, Girl. do it in front of your face. It's good. It's a sci-fi yeah. thriller with your favorite guy. Killian? Yes. Oh. What? I gotta it's, watch it's it. Killian, it's Chris Evans. It's a they're literally going to blow up the sun so that they create a new sun because the sun's dying. So they're blowing up the sun and it just has a weird twist and it's pretty well, intense. I, I'm not height shaming in the least bit. But did you know that he's five seven? I mean it makes sense. He's got that short king energy. <laughs> <laughs> he does come off with a lot of swagger and it's like only a guy I mean a guy with that's five seven can handle that. The way he carries himself, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if he didn't have the swagger he did, he'd just be another short guy. But it's like, yeah, Killian Murphy can be five seven. He could be five three. <clears throat> with a face like that, why not? He could be two two foot. What do they say uh, on the hey, no shame. His skin is really tight. It's so tight. <laughs> hey, which one is mine? What is it too loud? Touch. You are the four dial at the top. No, the top. Yeah. Turn it. Talk. Yeah. You like that? Is that yeah. better, 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 better. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> I didn't want to, like, complain about it, but it was. I didn't know if I could do that for an hour. How's it now? Oh. I like that. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Good. I can't do no, that. I can't. Golly. Nope. Disney will get you. But we could do this. <laughs> Steve Willie. Yeah, you're better at whistling. I know. That's public domain now. Public domain now, baby. Guys, keep an eye on sundaycoolswag.com. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Bobby, possibly, possibly. Um, Corey's back. Hey, happy new year, Corey. Hey, thank you. Hey, Corey's welcome back. Corey's back because Andrew is gone. Hey, ya, uh, hey, ya. Uh, Corey is back. Corey, give us an update. What have you been up to? Just enjoying the season. Yeah. You Are know. you a holiday guy? More Thanksgiving, but Christmas is always nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Did you get any good Christmas gifts this year? Oh, this is a few weeks ago, I, but 
I got just blessed with a f- ton of family time. Just a wow. bunch of love. Look at this guy. Aww. That's really nice. It's disgusting, honestly. It's nothing about what Christmas is up. about. Yeah, it makes me sick. Yeah. Um. <sighs> what do you like? The cookies? You eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> first of all, what do you like? Cookies. First of all, I don't like the way you said it. He does this. Second of all, yeah, I like cookies. Okay. <laughs> you like cookies, don't you? <laughs> you like cookies? Yeah, that was a dumb question, wasn't it? <laughs> of course he did. Of Look course you. you do. Here you go. <laughs> like I'm gonna, I'm just gonna die for it. <laughs> um, it's warm in here. We're all covered up. Oh well, you're not. I know. I was gonna wear my sweater, but it's hot. Oh, I'm wearing my brand new. I'm cold. Ninjas or butterflies, robots, and hoodie with the new robot hat. Robot hat available now at SundayCoolSwag.com. Keep your head protected. Um, that actually, we actually built in um, this new technology that protects your brainwaves from artificial intelligence. Yeah, it's actually mm-hmm. interlined with like like an actual like strong or tin foil that's like almost like Teflon or something like that. Yeah. Um, but uh, we actually we own the later patent. on we're going to be doing some microchips parts like where it's like every once in a while we'll like be able to poke a needle in your head. This little top thing it'll feed a chip into your brain. It's gonna be really fun. Yeah, and we'll just send you Sunday cool ads. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The FBI came to us and they're like, "Hey, can we put chips in your hats?" And we're like, "I don't see why not. We mm. can trust you. You've never done anything wrong, especially the MLK or JFK or a lot of other people." Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, since Andrew's not here, we're gonna have to kind of improvise a song. Song. A song. Or unless um, you do, you know how to play anything? No. Okay. You, you well, can play the spoons, can't you? You can got, play the spoons, can't you? You guys should do like. Uh, uh, living on a prayer, but do the Sunday cool. Mm, we'll stuff. do. Well, yeah, we'll do something like that. That'd be cool. Whoa, what have we did? Whoa, Sunday cool podcast. I don't know. They just saw a butterfly, baby. Episode seventy-two. You ready? Um, yep, ready. Oh, hi, di 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 di! Welcome to the show. It's Ninja's Butterflies, episode seventy-two. I swear we'll tell no lies. We'll talk about it all, from Bigfoot to diarrhea. You never know just what we'll say. Oh, hi, di 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 di! We really don't know a lot, but we sure act like we do. We chat about conspiracies while covered in tattoos. So we hope you like the show. It's time to fly the coop. We gotta wrap up the song. Cause I really gotta poop. Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I Nice. That was good. It's a little hey, Irish, thanks. Hey, Diddy. Thanks, man. Just an Irish song for you all. We had a really cool song prepared, but <laughs> Andrew abandoned us. Andrew ruined it. But guess what? He's not going to see any of this footage, so what should we say about him? We should say, um, I don't know. Oh, uh, Andrew, you you poop head. <laughs> 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 you tardy sauce because yeah, you're not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm jealous of your looks. Yeah. <laughs> your long right? hair. Yeah. <laughs> you suck. You're so handsome. Yeah. Ew. Ew. Yuck. Want to hug him. Yeah. Just want to hug, hold his hand maybe a little, for a little bit. Yeah. But not, not uh, kind of in a, like a bro way. Yeah. You know? Make some prolonged eye contact <laughs> yeah. for, you know, like but just like, real like, intimate like, wise. But not like in a weird way, but. Not in a weird way, but like I press our cheeks together sometimes. Because just like just, just hold each other just because it feels good. It's just because he's so handsome. Yeah. Because yeah. he's so handsome. Yeah. But not in a weird way, yeah, though. Not in no, a weird way. Yeah, no, way. Not like a really cool way. Yeah. Because um, he's like a coworker and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But everyone be quiet. Because we have a question. This one. It seems like it's really weighing on you today. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is. I'm sorry, Palin. Get it off your chest, man. Did you call me Palin? <laughs> Pal. I didn't so, call you Palin. Hey, like everyone be quiet. Palin. Hey, shh. Pimmy Palin. Hey. <laughs> Seriously, this is no time. I don't know why you're laughing right now. Listen. Because of how serious this is. Chill. <sighs> The 
today's question sent in by a viewer. Should firemen be stopped? Should firemen be stopped? Ah, oh, man, that's a really tough one. I'm yeah. really kind of like mulling that over because I, I know people who are firefighters. Yeah, me too. And it takes a lot of courage. Yeah. But should they be stopped? Yeah. I say, yeah. Mm. I think they should. Yeah. I think so too. Corey. I think they need to do the opposite. I think they need to keep going more. Every time I drive by a fire it's a yes house, or no, it's a yes, yes or no question. <gasps> what did he, you said? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I had a good explanation too, but now I'm just going to keep it locked up. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy that. Think about it. Okay, <laughs> I'm curious now, but yeah. All right, well, Lily. No, they should not be stopped. Why do you, this is, why do you say that? Yeah, they're doing wonderful things to save. The community, people in the community. That's not the question. The question is, should firemen, firemen be stopped? Yeah, should be, they be stopped? No. They shouldn't be stopped. What if a fireman was on their way to maybe accept a medal of honor, a medal or the keys to the city because they saved people's lives? They should be stopped then? I said, no, they should not be stopped. Wait, they shouldn't be stopped? No, wait, so, what wait, wait, saying? Saying wait, what am I saying? Wait, what am I saying? No, 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 everyone, no. everyone be quiet because I'm I, right. think, I think what Corey and Lily are saying if I'm getting this right, Andy, <laughs> I hope you are. I, if if I, the firemen that they should not be stopped, but what I was referring to yeah. was should firemen be stopped from going into bad places? Bad places, like what? <laughs> like, like for example, like a a house that has thousands of snakes in it, and he, they they're guaranteed to get bit. Or the fourth dimension. Or the fourth dimension. We don't want firemen no, in the we fourth dimension. Them. We don't want them there. I don't think because they can they're going to survive. They're going to be lost and they're going to leave their, and their, their families. families behind. Wait, so, so, wait, so Lily, and, Lily and Corey wait, don't, don't want, want firemen, firemen to have, have families? families? <laughs> I think that's exactly what they're saying. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the show. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> don't have an aneurysm. <laughs> uh, did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. the butterfly. I said, empty your mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas attack! I can't believe I got that messed up so bad. I was like, I was like, I'm making a really good point here. <laughs> and he's like, no, you're you're hitting my point better. Actually, these questions are becoming brain exercises. <laughs> it's really, they really are. As you were, uh, well, as like I'm literally filling up my mind. When you asked me, I was just like, I was literally just talking. I didn't even know what I was saying because I was literally trying to think it was a twist in my mind. And I think that's where I got messed up. I was like, I was not thinking at all. Uh, so second week in the new year, baby. Hey, we're here and we're live and I'm low on energy. No. 2024 is taking it from me. No. It's done. It's done. It's, I'm scared. How are you feeling? How's your energy? Hi. <laughs> Real high. Really? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm there, too. I just, I it's 20, January is so crazy for us. Yeah. And it's exciting. School's starting up. I'm, I'm going back to school. What I don't are know you if you doing? know this. I was trying to what? be really quick yep. because Andrew's gone. So I was going to find a real friend oh, later. I, I'm supposed to text him. Oh, okay. Just yeah. kidding. Oh, we could FaceTime him. Yeah, we could do that. That'd be funny. Um... My but energy's yeah. fine, by the way. I'm good this year. Well, you're you're just like not paying attention to the oh, this I, conversation. Oh, I know everything everybody said. What did he say? Ten seconds. Recap ago. it. You said you're say tired. actually say every word everyone said. Um, I don't need to. My brain automatically s summarizes everything you guys say. Word. So 2024 <laughs> is here. Yes, and it's already becoming not a fun year. Why, dude? Day one, we had a tsunami. Well, the whole earthquakes in Japan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's earthquake, yeah. And, yeah, and then, the earthquakes and then the tsunamis and stuff. And then volcanoes going off. And then just craziness. But do you remember? Yes. It was a couple months ago? Five months ago? Yeah, June. When, yeah, July. Yeah. You don't watch our podcast. <laughs> but we talked about this fish. It's called the doomsday fish. Yeah. Do you know what this is? No. No. So 
uh, an oarfish. Yeah, yeah, technically an oarfish. A deep sea oar. Yes, deep sea oarfish. <laughs> And it I all, forgot about that. They <laughs> call it a doomsday fish because when it comes to the surface, typically that means there's going to be an earthquake or tsunami in the not so distant future. And this doomsday fish appeared off the coast of Japan five months ago. And then Japan was just rocked by these giant earthquakes. And the last time they'd been out, it was something. It was the um, Indonesia. Yeah. So it's like tsunami. It's really weird. Is yeah. like the, when every time they are they come up to the surface, it's always noted as like this is a absolute sign. This is like the only yeah. thing that's similar in all these cases. It's wild. Yeah, is that like folktale or like scientifically like I mean, it's, in the water? Like it's it not like scientific. It. Like this is why they're coming up. It's just this is the every time they've come up, a something major happens. Major. Yeah, every time they observe it and they Earth event it's, happens. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah, in, in that relative area or like yeah, they, okay, yeah, that's interesting. So that they're guess is that they can like sense like a seismic shift yeah. yeah at the bottom of the ocean so that's why they swim up and it i wonder happened. if a, a tectonic plate moves and then it dislodges it from its little nest mm. that's like the godzilla minus one that's true yeah which mm. i wish dude we got we watched it before we gave our top five movies because oh, yeah. that's that's probably my number two favorite movie. Wow. God yeah. Jealous. So let's let's of 2024. Yeah. Or let, 2023. Well, let's talk about it in a second. But let's like on the same subject of this doomsday stuff. We talk about movies as far as to leave the world behind. Mm-hmm. The uh, you guys haven't watched it yet, right? Mm-hmm. You Is watched that the it? Obama no. movie. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. that was produced by the Obamas. It was on Netflix. A lot of people watched it. We heard about it. We tried. What movie? The Leave the World Behind, produced no. by the Obamas on Netflix. Like Barack. Yeah, and Michelle. Mm-hmm. Oh, shut up! No, I haven't. I haven't watched. <laughs> yeah, that. it's it's a uh, it's a, it's an okay movie. I mean, like it's whatever. But in the whole movie, it's literally the world is coming to an end. But the, it, the similarities through the symbolism with animals knowing, yeah, what's coming on. They're warning people. It's and then you look at what happened in Japan. All these crows. I mean, like literally masses oh. of crows going crazy. And apparently, that's what they do when tsunamis are about to hit. And so. I think yeah. it's really, I, and in the end times, I think we are going to see a lot more animals acting like differently. I think that's something cool from the movie that they showcase, which also it's like, how do you not, that's just God revealing himself in other ways too, like right there, you yeah. know, like, yeah. but whatever. I, uh, speaking of that movie though, the uh, world's, what is it? Leave, Leave the, the world, world behind. behind. Yeah. I saw this guy on TikTok. The video had like 70 likes, like, and it was like a really not good looking video and stuff, mm-hmm. but it was this old man and for like 30 or 20 years, he's been doing like video editing and stuff. And I think he makes trailers maybe. Okay. But um, he has a software to where he uploads the entire movie and he takes clips from it. Mm-hmm. He said in 20 years of doing this video editing. So when he uploads it, like on the timeline, there's the video file and then the audio file. Nothing else. He did it with Leave the World Behind. And there was five audio files underneath it. And one of them was like a, um, it was like a, what do they call it? Like a, a like a frequency that was under the entire movie. Oh, uh, just like weird, a, weird. But you couldn't hear it unless it was like cranked. But yeah. it was just like a, it's what? Of, it's kind of like the the discs that they would if you play it backwards. It's like vote for blah 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 or <laughs> yeah yeah the subliminal messaging yes. like yeah that's. That's trippy. Yeah. Why? Like, because you obviously, you know, we both mess with video files and all this stuff like that. Have you yeah. ever seen like, we've no. done it with certain cameras where they'll have yeah. multiple audio files, but that's but strange. He's in 20 years. He's never seen that from importing a movie into that software. Yeah. Because all yeah. you're downloading is a file. But if we're going off the, well, we talked about frequencies and stuff. Yes. Like, are they, are they like something causing yeah. this like hysteria with this yeah. movie? Like the, with this frequency? You know Could what I've be. been thinking about? You know the feeling that you have when you think about Disney, like Walt Disney World. Yeah, we had you, different feelings when we. <laughs> yeah, I, always, I don't. I don't match your feeling, but I get what you're saying. I yeah. always thought that they like pumped pheromones into the park that you yeah. were like breathing in, and you're like, I love Disney, but maybe they're playing frequencies at a different. 
I don't. I. I mean, why wouldn't they? I know. Why wouldn't they? I mean, they do like stuff for like spraying with for mosquitoes and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. smells. So it's like, so I mean, there's got to be some type of experimental stuff that they've been doing. Yeah. To make you happier, right? Yes. There's got to be because every detail is so That's thought out. So you that can't be true because I don't feel happy. <laughs> 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 That's true. You have to be. Yeah. Like maybe you have to like uh you have to sign up for it or something like that. Like that's or maybe they like know your DNA. Yeah. Like they only the personality database. types or something like that. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy's an Indian gram eight. Get him out of here. <laughs> um, but no, let's talk about movies. Okay. Ah, okay. uh, dude, I watched two movies that came out in December that I didn't even have my top 10. That will be on my top 10 now. What? Iron claw and Godzilla, dude, Godzilla minus one was so freaking good. We it talked about dope. on the, uh, the, we were talking about, we were going to go watch it. Yeah. Yeah. On the half episode. The 70, <laughs> 71 and a half. And dude, and you were given uh, that exact look. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so good. It was Lily, really you actually good. would love it. Bro, I'm dying to see Iron Claw, though. I Dude. love Lip from Shameless, whatever his <sighs> name, or The Bear. Listen, Jeremy Allen White. Is he, that it, his name? Yeah. I love pro wrestling. Maybe not everyone knows that, but I love pro wrestling. I grew up on it, and I never, I've heard these people's names, the Von Erich family, and you, they're iconic in mm. the world, um, world wrestling entertainment. But. I had no idea the actual details of their family history. And it is, if you have not watched it, do not, I mean, prepare yourself. It is mm. a traumatically gut wrenching movie punches you in the face. Really? Oh, it's rough. It's a tough one. And it's all real. It's all based on a true story. And they even cut down like on one huge other tragedy in their life oh, geez. that people are like, why didn't you add this? And it was such a long movie. Oh my gosh. But Godzilla minus one dude. So incredibly good. Yeah. The storytelling in it, the twists and the turns, the graphic. Oh, man. I definitely want to see it. It's so fun. But speaking of Iron Claw. Well, I was talking about Godzilla and you said, I really want to see it. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. Oh, sorry, because yeah. I was looking okay. up something. Speaking of things. Speaking of Iron Claw. <gasps> do you know what else has claws? Um, What? Cats. Ooh. Hate them. And I saw this Me video too. the other day and I'm like, whoa, what in the world? Okay. Do you know what a cat's eye looks like? I don't want to know. Up close, I mean, like I mean, just obviously, like, just when like you look the, at a cat, like what, like what do the pupils look like? Yeah, it's like the shape, that shape, right? Like, yep. yeah, yeah. Uh, what is that called? Like a snake. Like a like a slit or a vertical s- slit eye. Yeah, like a soft diamond. Do you know what other <laughs> animals have eyes like that? Uh, Snakes. Lizards. Reptiles. Okay. <gasps> Do you think lions and tigers have eyes like cats? No. They don't. In no. fact, cats are the only... Mammal? Mammal. Besides goats, but their eyes go like that. They're yeah. Like Go- little, goats are eyes. squared. Those, yeah. are rect- those are demonic. Those are, those are straight <laughs> up demonic. Yeah, 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 they're freaky. <laughs> that's so much. <laughs> but it's just interesting that cats, like, they come from, right, the cat family. Yeah, feline. But they're the only cats in the cat world... That have eyes like that. Lions yes. don't. Tigers don't. Panthers don't. All the other cats have circle pupils. Do they know why? There's one it? guy I was talking about maybe some weird genetic crossbreeding back in like the Egyptian days. Yeah. Because, you know, they like hold cats up at like. Yeah. Like a holy status. Yeah. But they yeah. also had were like obsessed with snakes and stuff too. Yeah. But what was weird, my mom told us this the other day. She saw that to keep gators off your land, mm-hmm. you get an outdoor cat because gators are afraid of cats. Really? really? Isn't that weird? Yeah. The way cats are afraid of cucumbers, alligators are afraid of cats. Cats are afraid of cucumbers? We'll have to show you a video about yeah. this. <laughs> this is, this is going to be a wild revelation for you. <laughs> but also, cats hiss like snakes. They do? Yeah. <gasps> Dude, that's such so a lions, weird thing. Though. Were cats always they go around, around? <laughs> like the house cat? Were those always a thing? I don't know. I think they've always, they, they have some kind of like, um, you know, they're synonymous with like the occult. Don't you think that way? Yeah. I mean, there's obviously got to be some like with uh, witches and stuff like yeah, that. Like there's, cats. let me look up. When did, uh, when were cats like domesticated? Because I don't I think I still like, don't think they're Egypt. domesticated. I don't think there were like chihuahuas running around. No. Like back in the day, just chilling. Okay. But isn't that weird to think about? Like, how do we get from a wolf to a Shih Tzu? Yeah, yeah. Hey, like, how many how many little avenues did you have to take? Yeah, like like a- English bulldogs literally used to like terrorize bulls. 
Like they would be yeah. ferocious animals that travel in herds and like bite the ankles of bulls and they would tear them apart. It's like these things were like different. That is weird to think about. Dog breeds look different now than they did like 200 years ago. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. We do too. We're like way taller. Yeah. Um. Some of us taller than others. Yeah. And listen, I, I no, don't I, think, think anything okay. less of you. I think it's you. really cool that. I don't it, think any less ups, of you. That you like embraced your shortness listen, compared to my height. You're five, six. Jesus was technically five, seven. They said. Really? So that's, you're, you're closer to Jesus height than I am. I mean, I'm six foot. You're six foot five. Lily's even like, she's taller than you. Mm. That would yeah, be, okay. that would be the funny thing. If we started that rumor, just Lily's taller than Josh. <laughs> I'm like this. Dude, I hate it. Kelsey's like, I'm barely taller than her. We're ba- We're practically the same height, but I'm barely taller than her. Anytime she puts on any pair of shoes, she's yeah. always taller than me. Oh. And it's just the most annoying thing. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I thought that was weird with the cats. Listen, is a bobcat a cat? Is that a yeah. good question? <laughs> it's a bobcat. Shut up. A cat. It's in the feline family. Yeah, it's definitely. But it's not a, a cat, to, yeah. like not like a house cat subgenre. Yeah. Are you a cat person? No, <laughs> me neither. Negative, yeah. negative cats over here. Cats, dude. It kind of cement. I remember I was folding socks, like I was doing laundry on a couch, and when I was in high school, and the last memory I have of like the, the moment I decided I hated cats, like forever for my life, this cat would just keep coming up underneath the couch, and put its nails right in my right in my sock, right into my toes, and then go right on the couch, and I couldn't kill it, kick it, do anything, because it was hiding from me. They're evil, and I was, right? Dude, they are evil. They're so mean. I like outside cats. I dig outside cats, like, where it's like, keep your distance. They're cool. I dig that. They get the eat a bunch. And exactly. And, and they, apparently the gators. And the gators. But, yeah, I can't stand them in the house. My thing, I'm in a, I'm in a, um, a pickle here, because I want, I'm a big dog person. We've always had big dogs. Mm-hmm. But I want something that's going to sit in my lap. I'll mm. sit in your lap. <laughs> Good size. Spin, completely you are taller than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Just walking. Hey, you guys. You're just brushing Josh. Do you know I had a Bigfoot dream the other night? Oh, my gosh. No? This is crazy. This is weird. It what was happened? a weird dream. So I was like, I was Bigfoot in the dream. <laughs> okay. And I was with other Bigfoots. Nice. Big feet. Big feet. Big feet. Big feces. Yeah. Um, but what we we didn't talk, we communicated uh, telepathically. telepathically. Like we didn't, we were just yeah. like, we could like read each other's thoughts. Yeah. But then I was able to travel in and out of this dimension. To where? And to the <laughs> fourth dimension, I guess. I don't know. It like wasn't this dimension. This is literally ninjas of butterflies in a dream. Like this is just, <laughs> it's all just <laughs> meshing together. Dude, dude, no, but like I, w- I woke up, I'm like, that's how that is what the Bigfoot species is like. Weird. They yeah. can travel in and out of dimensions yeah, and they can telepathically. That. No, but I was convinced of it when I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to the, Blurry. The, yeah, I bet I you know. they believe that. Well, well no, but they do. They, yeah. That mermaid episode where I was falling asleep in the car and you were listening to it and I would I was coming in and out and at one point I was awake and it was like, oh yeah, Bigfoot, you know, it, it basically is like telekinesis and like can yeah. travel on a different plane. So yeah, that we they, can't they avoid like, like, it's like listen, everyone like, everyone knows Bigfoot can, can you know communicate <laughs> telekinesis. Let's get past that. And it's like, wait, whoa, whoa, hold there. on. You lost me there. This is not common knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fun. Yeah. That's a crazy dream. That's like so much better than just a nightmare though. Like that's would do you welcome those dreams? Like uh, when you have dreams like that? Sure. Yeah. Stay stay not scary. Yeah. I had <laughs> I had somebody uh I, I watched a podcast and they were asking the question, they're like, How many times would you have to have the same dream in a night, like consecutive nights? for you to start like really kind of being scared or like having to tell people about it and like seek help. Oh, that's like if you had the same dream mm. every night, what would you have? Like how long would it take? Two days, two days. Yeah. Okay. Well, like what point do you like, I need to like find like some help. Um, like I need to ask week? somebody like maybe like that's really spiritual or like maybe somebody has a doctorate or uh, something. I'll like, do it after like probably four days, honestly, four days. Yeah, really? Yeah. Okay. Consecutively. Yeah, consecutively. How long would it like take you to like start worrying? I don't know. It'd, it'd be a while. Yeah, like week, two weeks. If, especially if it's like a good dream. Yeah. I just. I, well, what if it was I, a bad I'll, dream? I'll, I'll see that again. What if it was like a yeah, nice. shadow man, again. like standing outside your house? Yeah, it depends on the nature of the dream. I thought we were talking about scary dreams. Oh yeah, I mean like any, but the thing is, any dream. Oh. Like at one dream. point you're gonna start worrying. Like if it's a happy dream, it may be two weeks. And you're like, okay, this is really strange because it's now a part of your life and now you're counting on it. Like it's, that'd be strange. I think it would take me, 
I think I, I had three really just bad dreams in a row and I've never had that before and like vivid stuff. And that yeah. was like, that had me telling people. So I think it would, I think it would take me a week and I would really start like reaching out to people. Like, what does this mean? Yeah. You know something I know when I'm undergoing a spiritual attack, when I have a dream where taking place exactly where I'm sleeping and maybe that's lucid dreaming. I don't know what yeah. it is, but I had a dream the other night that I was laying exactly where I was sleeping and I thought in my head I didn't lock the door, mm -hmm. the back door, like to the house. And I heard it open and close. Oh no. In my dream. <laughs> ah, I'm scared thinking about it right now. <laughs> yeah. And then I woke up and I'm like, I had to go walk through the whole house. I'm like, is there something here? You didn't send Josh? You were just like, I have that. No. That's me I tonight. Got it. <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, dreams have always been a really big part of my life. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Like I really that, weird when, dreams. I'm not surprised when you say three, you're like, Yeah, this is it. This is something. Yeah. 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 Three days, this is something's off. So do you guys believe all dreams mean something? No. No. I believe they some can. You guys have heard that, right? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I know people that, like, I know people that like interpret have, every dream they have. Like it's always something. Like there's always some type of symbolism in like it. Like underlying like something in yeah, your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, think our brains are crazy enough to come up with whatever. So it's like I'm not gonna put stock in my my subconscious thoughts. I had a dream yeah. last night that I was pregnant and Josh said, It's a son and I want to name him John. <laughs> and I thought, What the heck? <laughs> Where did that come from? Or name him John Chris. John Chris. <laughs> Thank you, John Chris. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Um, but yeah, dude, dreams are wild. I think, I definitely think there's some dreams that have meaning to them. And I think God does give us those dreams. Yeah. Um, it's always hard to tell. That's I do thing, have a, I have an old dream journal from high school and I went back still? and looked through it the other day. I'm like, Ooh, this is freaky. Yeah. Do you yeah. add to it still? No, I need to. You definitely should. That'd yeah. be amazing. Especially like stuff that you still remember, like with Aiden and stuff. Cause that whole story is incredible. Yeah. Yeah, dreams are weird, man. I don't I don't get them very often. And so but that whenever I do, it really freaks me out. Like I used to love like really like really intense like movie nightmarish dreams, but then it's like after a while it's like, man. No. It's getting more intense as I get older and I get up and I'm like I literally have to tell myself I'm not. Like the relief that you, happens whenever you wake up knowing that yeah. it's not real is unlike anything. I didn't else. tell you this, but I had a really scary dream last night. Don't tell me. <laughs> I'll just give a little synopsis. Kelsey oh. had a weird dream last night too. I had this dream that this really creepy old man was trying to attack me. Yeah. And every time he opened his mouth, bees oh, no. like flew and were stinging me. Oh, no. You know what that means? I need more honey. Yes. Absolutely. My diet. Yeah. yeah. That's I, absolutely what it means. Can I tell you something absolutely horrifying? Mm -hmm. Did I talk about this on the podcast already? Our neighbor boys, I think they do it on purpose to just like antagonize me. I don't know what it is. They also listen to our podcast. I know. Too. I know. <laughs> Jordy came up to me and he's like, I had a nightmare about your backyard. And he's like, there were monsters everywhere. And there was a snake that came up and bit Ada. And there was an old man that lived here. You guys didn't live here. And it was an old man that lived here and was uh, terrorizing us and haunting the place. And I'm like, because <gasps> an old man died in our house. Thank you for telling me that. So, so Ada was just at some random guy's house. No. Hanging out in the backyard getting bit by snakes. It was our house, but an old man lived there. With you guys? No, he said that we didn't live there. But I guess Ada was you're trying to put You're trying to put logic into it a was dream. A, it, it was, was a just 10 year old dream. <laughs> a 10 year old dreamt this. But. What if he would have said, like, and horrifying. it was just the whole yard was covered in owls? I don't. I don't know what it means. He will. <laughs> you would have lost I, it. I, I came inside. I'm like, I'm horrified, Josh. We have to pray over this whole house right now. This is so scary. Yeah. Start burn, <laughs> what is it? Whatever they burn, the, the, sage. Sage. the sage, you're just outside, yeah. just throw her rolling around. And run with this, please. Go, go, go. <laughs> what we do know about the old man is that he didn't have any unfinished business. Yeah. That you know of. And he was very kind. And say. his name was John. <gasps> it was. It was. It was. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's such an uncommon name too so like that's like yeah, very uncommon. very specific like how many wow. people do you know named john L none none, none yeah i can think of yeah yeah no one important yeah yeah Nobody literally knows. no one important no nope. can love you john rucker I john rucker i love you he doesn't watch our podcast the original ding dong know. bandit yeah for real i don't even do they know that i don't know oh. we, we <laughs> i think we told the story a little bit on a live q a i think oh, oh it wasn't it was, the live yeah. q a <laughs> Uh oh, yeah, that's a that's a little little. Um, do you know what a seraphim is? 
No. Okay, so it's a... Look at him. Do you think he knows what a seraphim is? You guys is? have such good vocabulary. <laughs> Literally <laughs> all of you guys have such good vocabulary, and I like it. I love I love Corey, dude. He just comes in here with no context of how we usually talk, and he just like no, compliments us no our in intellectual ride. This is great. Okay, so it. a seraphim is a heavenly creature described in the Bible, and it looks terrifying, but it's it's always in the presence of God, and it's basically described as... Like I think six wings, yeah, I can. And like with eyes and like a eye in the middle, so like something like that, right? Yeah, if I saw that in a dream, we'd be talking to somebody <laughs> immediately. <laughs> immediately, it's, it's just take one dream. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about not seeing it in a dream, but seeing it in real life? Because in Mexico, did I show you this already? Yes, you did. Okay, dude. In Mexico, this was two weeks ago. They're at like this airport. And these people were like up at like filming something in the sky. Okay. This is what they're filming in the sky. You see that? That's like so, a daisy. that's so scary, dude. And this, the thing that looks like an eye in the middle is just like moving around. Yeah. It's shifting. It's moving. Look dude, at, that thing is so scary. It. I know. I've seen it. Take it in Lil. So I it's almost like, it. <laughs> like, it makes sense though. Like in scripture, like when they were, like the seraphim and stuff would come to these prophets. They literally thought they were going to die. Yeah. And they would say, do not fear. Yeah. Do not be afraid. And it's just like, when you see that, <laughs> How could yeah. you you're not, like, dude. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Yeah. Dude, so scary. Well, oh, golly, that's my thing. What does that mean? I don't know. Why do they see in that thing there? I don't know. I don't know. It's actually just based for Mexican tourism. <laughs> What if aliens are just like, listen, um, I need to make an, you know, a few extra bucks. If there's countries out here who want like yeah. extra like tourism money, like all you can hire me as a private contractor. I'll show up, flash my lights a little bit, move around, do some flips, you know, oh, get on. Some, and then people are like, oh, I'm going to go there. Freak out the townspeople, peel their faces a little bit. Yeah, peel a few faces. What's the big deal? This thing, it looks like that, doesn't it? It's yeah, scary, it dude. Like if you're going to describe what they said in the Bible, hold on, let me do this real quick. Let's do that. And a then, side by side? Yeah. And let's do... And it looks like no other aircraft that we've seen before that we've ever built. It's certainly unique. So it's either photoshopped? Yeah. Or, you know, visual effects or something wacky. Everything I don't understand these days is just AI. Yeah. It's all AI. Yeah. It's, that's what I my take on parenting, too. Another <laughs> Anytime I face a new struggle or, like, a new development, like, that we have to deal with, it's like, this is not real. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and disassociate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look at Bye. This is what they saw in Mexico, right? Yeah. See that? Mm -hmm. And then this is a artist interpretation. Not that. <laughs> 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 it's a mock-up. Yeah. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, yeah, exactly like it. So it's either someone's trying to make something look exactly like that or it's an actual video in that. What does that mean, though? I know. I don't know what it means. What would that mean? If it was a seraphim, like, what if it was something from God, like, what would that mean? He, <laughs> said, he said there'll be science in the sky. Oh, my goodness. It's true. Be vigilant. Yep. Keep oil in your lamps. Yep. It also says that the stars will fall yep. from heaven. Wolf. And the stars... Some people interpret stars being the heavenly creatures. Mm -hmm. Weird. But sometimes I see clouds and I see jumbo shrimp, like the mm. shapes of clouds. Like, mm. So it's like, what does it mean? You know, mm. what is real? What's not? This is, is real. Is real. Is real. Is real. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Speaking of creepy things with big eyeballs. Don't say it. We got it. Don't go anywhere. Oh, look at that. Look at that. How the wow. turn have tables. Wow. Wow, this is real inconvenience. Yeah, it is. Golly. Come on, Will. Hey, don't get caught up in a conversation. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes? I have uh, the results from your, your family member's uh, surgery. Did you call me ma'am? Yeah. Oh. Yes. Ma'am? Yeah. And um, it says here, and I can you take a seat, please? Sure. I know you've been waiting a long time in this waiting room. Yes. I just wanted to let you know a couple things. Okay. Um, number one, uh, sundaycool.com 
forward slash VBS has all of brand new VBS templates and um, great, great time to start on any summer orders, early spring orders, D now, okay. winter retreats, stuff like that. And I thought you were going to say something bad. No, no. Number two, oh. um, we did lose him. We lost him. Who? We lost your husband, ma'am. Your husband, we lost him. Uh-oh. He's just lost in the hospital. We didn't lose him, lose him. Oh. No, no, he's still alive. Um, but also, if you go to Sunday, it says right here, if you go to sundaycoolswag.com, you can order just, you know, great merch for your favorite podcast, Ninjas or Butterflies, or any Sunday Cool merch that we have on there as well. And um, right. also, I have one more announcement. And I'm very sorry. Can you please take a seat? Sure. Okay. Um, you're dying. I have an announcement. Okay. I'm not a man. I'm the husband that's gone missing. What was that? <laughs>
Got a fugitive on and so <laughs> the house. I, I went and grabbed the gun. <laughs> Grab the gun. Go and get the gun. Go home and get the gun. <laughs> I grabbed it. I'm just like walking around the house, just like I'm like, dude, they would if they heard me come in, yeah. they're probably hiding. Yeah. And so I said, If you're in here, I got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let you leave. Just get out now. Yeah. There's no one in there. I even looked in the attic, though. I was, like, really? so freaked out. Yeah. Thank you. Have you. Do you ever yell when you don't have a gun? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got hey, a gun. Hey, if someone's in here, I got a gun. I got three guns. You're just standing there in your underwear nately, just like, <laughs> <laughs> you're hoping no one's there. I had to run in the grocery store, like, last night at an abnormal hour, and Josh is like, I have a really bad feeling. And he put a knife the size of my midsection in the you probably still have it in there, right? No, I took it out in your line. backpack. Yes. Wow. I'm sure to get take knife. the gun, but yeah, you need to get one of those little uh, those little knife things on the keychain. Like it's a little mm. spike you put around your middle finger, and it's just a big spike, and it's like perfect. Or they have like those ones that like it's a wristband, and it's a stun gun, and mm. if it gets pulled off, like if he grabs it and it gets disconnected, it just like the thing just does like a high pitched siren thing yeah oh. and it, just, so, and it goes someone crazy gifted me one of those when i went to college a little yeah siren the smart mm. do you ever um as a kid did you ever like like that whole i have a gun did you ever like try to like to be tough to things that you thought were in your room like if there was a oh, ghost yeah. or something or you try to look at it like just like i'm not afraid of you like, they, looking in the corner i'm not afraid of you they literally like this under your covers like, yeah you're just like i'm not afraid of you get out of here <laughs> the, go on get it. my favorite were the videos on tiktok they were like uh it's like the ghost looking at me, trying to intimidate him, but I'm looking in the wrong corner. <laughs> you're, just like, you're just like sitting there and you're just like, oh, he's over there. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I did it recently, probably too recent to admit, um, as like I was walking and I was very, very tired and I just got this weird feeling like in the dark of the house and it's just like, I didn't feel good. But then I thought I saw something on the couch, like a black <gasps> shadow figure or something like that. And then I was walking past and I was like, oh, that is so scary. And then I literally like, <laughs> And I just like got mad almost. And I went over there like, <laughs> <laughs> get out of here, Shadow. I was like, it's Kelsey in the blanket. I was like, it was dark. <laughs> I, w I, I told myself afterwards, I was like, I don't know what I would have done if my fist would have just stopped. Like, and like on a, like a <laughs> like, invisible <laughs> mass. <laughs> I was like, I would have beat <laughs> immediately. Let me go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> guess, guess who, guess who got punched the other day? Oh gosh. What happened? He what punched me in the face. Oh, on accident. <laughs> <laughs> it was on New Year's Eve. What do you put, it, put those on? I can't, dude. This is, what are you doing? Talk, you hit your wife? What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what happened? It was new, we were driving and like, we were just like. And she just got lippy and I just, <laughs> I get it. And like, I like did something and she goes like, oh. And I'm like, and the girls like laughed and I'm like, here, this time, this time, like, really, I'm going to, like, really pretend to, like, and then, because, you know, like, you do it, and, like, they're supposed yeah. to turn her, She didn't turn her face. <laughs> so I, no, I turned it the opposite way. Uh, I, so I, turned it, it. I turned it into. Like a bad action movie? <laughs> it, was a, it was just like a. That's so funny. And he was like. Lily, can you actually do something for me real quick? What? Can you stand up and punch Josh in the I face? I tried to get her to punch no, me. No, punch please. Me right now. No, I'm not punching just, you. Just for the people on the pod so that you know how hard. Because they're going to be like, wow, just Josh, no. you have to. I just have real to. quick. I can't, I can't even Lily, they're, they're going to be really mad. You have to. I'm not doing it. You have to make it equal. Lily, come on. No. Just a tiny slap then. No. A, a slap. Wow. She hesitated. Why'd you hesitate? <laughs> <laughs> this is a test. You're supposed to say no to both. She's like, no. Oh, could I though? Dude, I felt so bad though. And I'm like, Lily, please hit me back. Please. Yeah. And she's like, no. I'm like, yeah. you're making it worse now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even pretend. In my dreams, I can't even like successfully punch someone. <laughs> it's like, wow. Dude, yeah. that's, that reminds me of the Nicolas Cage movie, Dream Se Sequence. Have you seen that? Or no. Dream Scenario? It's uh, It came out like in November and it's- Oh, it's the A24? It's A24 film. You saw it? it? Not yet. Oh. Everyone uh, on earth or a lot of people on earth are having the same dream with him in it. But he's a real person. So people are like, wait a minute, you've been in my dreams. And so like, that's the whole thing. But they have a scene where he's like punching and it's like jello. Like, it's oh. like, it's just bringing it all to life. It's great. You know what time it is though? <gasps> question corner, question corner, question corner with Lily. Where the, the questions, questions are fresh, fresh on our mind. mind. Ha ho. 
I think that we've asked this question before, but it was Uh-oh. submitted by our friend Kristen Kruger. Oh, yes. Who has a special request. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes, Miss Kruger. And I'm certain that Corey has not answered this question on the podcast. What is your death row meal? Oh. Yeah. There it is. That's a good one. And I guess what? let's go ahead and create some parameters here. Is it an app, main course, dessert, beverage? Yeah. You have to you have to pick all of those. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So an app, a main course, and a dessert. My and a app beverage. would be oh beverage. Okay, um, Olive Garden breadsticks with the Alfredo sauce. Nice. Oh man, that would be my app. I'm going to Olive Garden tonight. Whoa! Shut up, no way. Yeah, yeah I, I, well, listen, guys. I, I want to brag how well I'm I doing. I don't want to brag <laughs> hey. how well I'm doing, but oh, Richie, Rich over. We're here. gonna be having unlimited breadsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Is it with your sister? Can we come? No, it's uh, my sister actually had to go back. You this. turd. Hey, it's her. It's her. I'm Do you her. even want she us to, to meet her? No. Are you okay. ashamed of us? No. She came. He met her once oh, before. You didn't, you didn't Four get years to ago. meet her? <gasps> Yikes. Ooh. Yeah, Corey. Yeah, they hung out. Actually, she I was met, in here. She I, did come in here. Uh, what was it? Tuesday? I don't even know what she <laughs> looks like. I met I met Mama. Denim. She's seven feet tall. I met her, too. <laughs> she looks like um, the godmother in Shrek, right? Uh, His what? mom. I didn't like deep dive on her. <laughs> I, was like, yes. I just like said hi. <laughs> My main course would be the fish and chips from that one village in Ireland. Dang, you're sending this prison assistant abroad. <laughs> yep. And then my dessert would be, I don't know, chocolate malt milkshake. What? Yeah, that's chocolate good. Chocolate malt milkshake. What is a malt? Why'd you go, what? And I go, yeah, that's good. I Because I'm thinking something like Courtney Roy dances creme brulee. Mm-hmm. Dude, that, that was, was legit so good. good. That was oh, then my drink, good. right? Yeah, your beverage. I don't know. What's your favorite drink in the world? What would be the last thing you drink? Something like ginger ale. I do like ginger ale. Yeah? Yeah. Nice cold ginger ale. Canada dry. What a lame drink. No, it's what not. What a lame drink. Ginger ale? That's not lame. It's your last meal on earth. It's your last drink you're ever going to have. You're going to say ginger ale? Poison. <gasps> But they can't kill me. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I saw somebody was like, what do you want for your last meal? And it says, I'll take a peanut butter sandwich. He's like, okay. And he's like, I'm allergic. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Uh, yep. uh, Lily, you go. Okay. I'm going <laughs> to say like a Caesar salad from the garlic. Mm. Dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. The I upgraded to the Caesar salad that day. We <laughs> took me and Kelsey the anniversary. Oh, my goodness. Crazy. Best salad I've ever had. It was yeah. crazy good. Crazy good. Yeah. And then, like, ugh, I want Taco Bell in here somewhere. <laughs> but um, You always make that a dessert? Yes. And then maybe I want another Italian dish, maybe like the Cassio e Pepe from Prado. Okay. How many main courses do we get here? That was my main. And then oh. I had a Caesar salad for my app. Uh-huh. And then I want Courtney Roydance's creme brulee for dessert. Nice. And for a beverage, I will take Diet Coke. Cold, Cold. on ice, glass, cans. On hot, on ice. boiling. <laughs> Steaming, please. I saw this old commercial from like the 70s. Dr. Pepper? Hot Dr. Pepper? Hot Dr. Pepper, <laughs> it is. It was a commercial for Dr. Pepper People. where like the crisp, Christmas time, they literally... Heat up Dr. Pepper and drink warm Dr. Pepper. I don't get that. Like psychopaths. I mean, I would love to try it like with a fresh palate, never knowing Dr. Pepper, never knowing soda, and then be like, hey, you have this um, hot drink. I'm like, sure, I'll try it. It might be good, but our preconceived ideas now have just ruined it, right? Yes. All right. Corey, what's your l- final meal? Um, Starting off with the crab rangoons. With no, the- no that's, that's good. That's what you I You literally do. just stole my appetizer. With the, with the red sauce. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Then. Do you like them in the triangles or do you like them in the weird shape? What do you call that? Just the, like the just the wonton like seraphim, like a claw. <laughs> seraphim. <laughs> just like. <laughs> See, like crab and goonless guy. <laughs> <laughs> I think the fancy, the fancy, yeah, one, non-triangle, yeah. like the for, like the fortune or the. Um, oh yeah, or those origami. Yeah, we'll do that. The origami shape. What do you what do you call that though? The where you like in elementary the one, where you two, pick four, three, pick four, yeah, one, two, six, seven. Yeah, I don't know what the name of that thing is. 
you pick four and the girl you have a crush on. <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> Just kidding. Three, three. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys ever uh, play that mash game? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, you don't remember that? I don't know. It was like who you're gonna marry, where you're gonna live, what car you're gonna drive. It was oh so yeah, ridiculous. yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. When you finish it off with uh, Moe's for the entree. <gasps> Moe's. Moe's. Yeah. That's a hot take. What do you get? Burritos, nachos. What do you get? The crunch wrap. Nice. Oh. And then maybe like maybe just like a piece of cheesecake or something. Nice. Just top it off. What kind of cheesecake? Plain. Yeah, Shrub- maybe with like a little with some triple berry with some with some stuff on top. Huckleberry. Though. Carrot top. Carrot top. Not carrot top. Carrot, carrot on top. But mm. Carrot top. Maybe just like a strawberry, like little little glaze. A little drizzle. There. Yeah, just a little, a little strawberry bit. drizzle. What's what about drink? your drink? Orange high C. Nice. Nice. I'm going to get all of mine off the, the drink doubt. of the astronauts. <clears throat> Do they drink that? Is that the first I drink? I thought they that's g- what they well, that was like, Tang. Oh, that was Tang. Was it Tang? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Ew. Tang. I'm going to get all of my um, items off the dollar menu at uh, McDonald's. So here we go. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm going to do... I'm going to do crab and goon for my, um, for appetizers. Cause those are the best top tier. And then you're going to do, I'm going to do a stuffed crust Hawaiian pizza with jalapenos and hot honey drizzle for my entree with a side of, um, garlic honey wings, garlic hot wings. Nice. From yes. pizza hut? Uh, no, not the, the pizza can be from pizza hut. Sure. But the wings got to be from, from no, not froggers. Uh, Bulldog Saloon. If I have to pick a specific place, then it's a place called Bulldog Saloon. But then drink a oh, dessert and drink. Man, Mountain Dew. I have to go out with a classic Mountain Dew. Cold Mountain Dew and hot Mountain Dew, actually. <laughs> hot Mountain yeah. Dew. And then dessert. Man, I'm going to have to do like a streusel blueberry muffin. What? Streusel right. blueberry muffin. Streusel. Streusel for the blueberries. Could I please have a streusel blueberry? It's my death row meal. <laughs> okay, now the next question. Um, of all of the ways that they execute people, which one would you choose? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, I've um, thought about this. I like this one. Um, maybe guillotine. Yeah, I think that's where my brain went to. What's the most fun for people to guillotine. watch? Yeah. Guillotine for sure. It's most dramatic. Man, what other were there, were there were there other ways to do Which it? What's the most fun to watch? There was because obviously there's like lethal injection, like the uh, yeah, I don't like that one. What's the um? Why that's the most humane one? I know, but it's that's just too it's, calm. It's anticlimactic. Like, oh, it's I don't know. It's just somehow seems like more sad. Yeah, it is, it's like putting a dog down. Yeah, for a um, person. Like exactly like that. Yeah, <laughs> I want, <laughs> that's, it's, it's it's almost actually, like exactly. <laughs> It's identical, actually. <laughs> it's eerily similar. <laughs> and before then, it was the electric chair. No, thank you. No, that and is traumatic. I know. Have you seen the Green Mile Dude, too? Yeah. That's the. Have worst. you seen the Green Mile? Yeah, he just wouldn't die, dude. Well, because he didn't get his head wet. Yeah, the guy the sponge. didn't. Sponge. That guy. Honestly, You're supposed to do the sponge. Oh, you have water. to do that. Yeah, or that's what they did. He did the sponge, but he didn't rinse it. Yeah. Oh, dude. That guy is honestly probably the worst villain in the uh, movie history. The, yeah. like, the way I felt about him, I know, like. You'll have like Thanos kill a million people in a second, but then it's like, but that guy for some reason he got under my skin. Did we talk about <laughs> when the bad. last guillotine? I always say that wrong, right? Like, no, guillotine. you said guillotine. Yeah, it's oh, guillotine. Was, you said guillotine. I always say guillotine. 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 Do you know when the last one was? I think we talked about I it. I think we it's did. recent, right? Like in France. Yeah, right? or England. France, and yeah. it was in the I think 1978. That, that is, is too long. That was, that was the last guillotine wild. execution. It's too late. Absolutely wild. Yeah, and they did it. Because this dude was a psychopath and like killed a lot of people and they wanted to display like this is what happens to you if you're really bad. But then a lot of people showed up and they were cheering and they got like stoked off of it. And like the French government was like, wait, we've done we made a mistake. <laughs> dude. I know. They don't understand like humanity's nature. Yeah. Dude, if it was part of our culture nowadays, people would be going crazy for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It would be insane. The fact that it would be so normalized. If it was normalized now, especially with our social media and everything, it'd that would be, be like, so crazy. It'd be like a like the Super Bowl, like a sporting event. Yeah, it'd be like, like yeah. show up people would it. be like doing like crazy edits to, <laughs> to all of these guillotines and stuff. I want to like do... With uh, Skrillex in the background. Um... Can you give us a song? Yes. I would want to do Firing Squad, by the way. 
But like with cannonballs, like with like fruit or something. With fruit? Like like a big watermelon, <laughs> like in a cannon. Like <laughs> that's how you want to die. Like if like we did firing squad, but like it would be just me f- make it like a t- fun twist. With being blasted by fruit. Yeah. It's like stoning and firing squad kind of th- feel, but then it's like, I want it to be a, a, a spectator sport as well. But only you live for four hours while they do it. All right, I'm going to FaceTime Andrew. <laughs> I to keep surviving. I think that's what I'm interested in is the dramatic promenade uh-huh. as you're walked up. Yeah. I want entrance handcuffs. music and stuff. I want I want it to make it a big deal. It's I'll like, be, yeah, growling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, we're going to sing you a song and then you're going to have to explain your reel real quick. Are you in the bathroom? I am in the bathroom. We're about to check into this appointment. Okay, well, you have to you have to be a part of this. Give okay. us a song. The police. Andrew! Andrew has a ring for us right now! Andrew! Okay, explain your reel. <laughs> just, I think I'll, I'll just set it up this way. I think Australians are absolutely crazy people, and I think that... This real demonstrates why this chick's way too calm in the situation. And what would you do if you found yourself in her shoes or the boyfriend's shoes? Okay. One. All, all right. Yep. So we know that you are racist towards Australian people. All right. Have fun. Bye. Okay. Mm, uh, I think we have to play audio, but he's has going he's gonna have to bleep certain parts when he edits. Because I think that I think that didn't he say sound. he may have edited it already? Oh, maybe he did. Okay. All right. Ready. Three. Two, one. Oh my god. Bro. What the heck? Bro. She's way too calm. Where is it? Oh my gosh. I, it's hard for me to look at. Isn't that a recluse? No. The way I literally that, take all my clothes <laughs> off in public. Oh my gosh, dude, that's wild. No thanks. I had a black widow on my arm when I was a kid. Me and my brother. I was literally in fourth grade, and I had this black spider. And we were just like, I was fascinated with spiders, and I found it, and I was just going crazy. And then we took it off, and then we had it in the glass. And no joke, we found it, it was a black widow, and I had it crawling all over me for like five minutes before that. <laughs> you did talk about this on the podcast. Oh, did I? We need a memory bank. Oh, I know. That we talked about. I know it. It's tough because everyone's probably like, "Oh, that's not oh. true. Those details are changing." Mm, yeah, <laughs> false. <clears throat> um, that's horrifying. Um, yes, it is. That is scary. I sent you guys a text, by the way. The I've picture. Been, I've seen this before. Okay. Don't answer yet. So you have to look at the picture. Josh, have you seen this? The sandwich one? The what? The sandwich photo that I sent you guys in the group chat. Now, the question is, where's oh, the yeah, yeah, next yeah, 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 yeah. bite? C. And there is a right answer. It's C, 100%. It's not. Okay. What? All right. I want to hear everyone's. Okay, go oh, ahead. Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. B. B? Yeah, I've seen it where it was a triangle. Okay. Four. This is a different sandwich, though. Yes. <laughs> I'm looking at it now. <laughs> but I just remember answering yeah. the corner. Definitely B. B? Okay. I'll tell you there's a psychology to this. Okay. There was a season of my life, yeah. probably the first 15 years of my life, where the answer was C. Yeah. Because it's like your duty. Just the get it over with. The only reason I don't like What do you mean so get it over with? There's still meat in there. No, it's scanty. Oh, my goodness. Some The only reason that B wouldn't. I'll be a hundred percent. Yeah. Is sometimes I hate getting mayonnaise, mayonnaise and mustard on my mustache. Got it. Okay. So it's like, cause when you bite in that, in that crevice, yeah. you're going to get it today. Do you buy B or C or A? Today I bite B. Yeah. B. You today, you buy, you buy B? Today I buy B. Today I buy B. Definitely. <laughs> I literally could say it. Definitely B. Really? I mean, you're just going to have to. What are you, up. what are you saying? I mean, a lot of people are saying C. A lot of okay. people. I don't see a lot of people picking A. But here's here's yeah, the definitely not A. You're now a psychopath. You're I a. I am also a B guy, but I can understand C because you think yeah. about this psychology. You eat. Hold on. You eat no, no, C. Yeah. You That's take, why I said C at yeah, first. You take a bite of C. You take a bite of B. Then, then you take you a bite a. of new C. Mm. Right. And then it should be be a decent bite. But if you eat C right now, that B is too big. You gotta you gotta you gotta bite off the smaller bite, and then you you savor the big bite for the end. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, s- I do this thing sometimes, like if I'm eating a burger, 
in wherever the sauce is coming out of, I'll like yeah, turn it and bite it. Yeah, yeah. And then this was all, I was like in sixth grade. Uh, our buddy Lance, you know Lance Patrick. Yes. I was eating a burger. He's like, "Oh, dude, can I get a bite?" And I handed it to him, and I'd bitten all around the burger. He's like, <laughs> Never mind. "He's like, I don't want it now." He's like, "What are you doing? Why are you eating around the perimeter?" I think the first time I ever saw you a sandwich, I kind of freaked out a bit because we had to do a video the Chick Fil A sandwich. Oh, how you eat upside down? Yeah. You grab the you grab the burger. It's laying down. You grab the burger like this, and then you had bottom bun up top. I've and seen then he my takes mom a bite. Do it before I don't like and it. And no, I don't like it either. No, I not. looked at it. I was like, what are you That's doing? That's the way I eat. That's crazy. That's an insane way to I, eat. I, to me, it's easier to grab like this. Oh, you do that. Yeah, but you Yeah. You how many you don't need all ten fingers. You just you If just it's a grab big it. burger, you I, just grab. Just grab I know, like this, flip it. Instead mm. of going, whoop. <laughs> oh, you're a crab claw. Guy. It's the same thing. No, <laughs> look, look at my elbows. Watch this. This is the way I do it. This is the way you do it. Look at no, see how, see this, how far this is how I do it. Look at your, look how far your elbows are. What are you talking? Look at, look <laughs> look at my elbows. Wrong I, can, with the I elbows. can keep mine right here. Okay. <laughs> Now you look stupid. <laughs> yeah, you look stupid. <laughs> we all look stupid. We're just, sitting, <laughs> just we're like, um, um, you guys aren't just like one hand, like just like depends. Grab, just like grab. I, I cut mine into cubes. Actually, I had Kelsey cut me into like little king cubes. Call don't, my I call my mom. To come over and cut up my steak. Man, I want a steak. <laughs> Man, uh, I want a steak. Speaking of steak, speaking of mistakes, giants. In old America. Hold on. What? I told the people last episode that I would talk about giants in America. I know, but we're jumping into this and we've not even talked about Gypsy Rose Blanchard. We'll save her for the end. Well, no, now we have to do it. I don't even know. You just gave an intro to the giants. We have and to jump to the giants. And then she hijacked it. Because <laughs> I knew this is going to be lengthy. Go ahead. She's free. She's gypsy is free. She's Romy. She's a rose and she's blooming. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's happy. She seems like she's on top of the world right now. And she's got a bunch of gigs, which she's making a ton of money, which she should. Yeah, dude, we got to get her on this podcast. Dude, if she could get on Do her you know podcast. Who is? No. Like a gypsy? No, no. Her name is Gypsy Rose. She's a female uh, who just got out of prison at a, after eight years after conspiring a plan to murder have her mom murdered and she murdered her mom because she had manchazen by proxy so she was basically poisoning and torturing her child because she believed that she was sick but she was a completely well it's yeah. a real disease she told she told her you can't walk took her teeth out had like dental shaved her, head. shaved her head everything lied to this girl until she was a teenager, until the teenager, you know, Gypsy figured it out like, hey, this is not adding up. Yeah, I'm actually well. Yeah, this is good. And so, yeah, it was. it's a crazy story. And I so you can, there's documentaries on it. There's a show on Hulu called The Act. But Wait, so was her mom murdered? Yes. Yes, oh, she her, was. She, yeah, but she didn't She didn't partake in it. That's what I'm saying. She uh, was kind of like the person who planned it. Um, but it's a it's a wild story. She. I don't think she should have gone to prison. I think it should have been a different type of rehabilitation <laughs> type of thing. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, a different type of hospital. Yeah. Not a prison. But, um. You conspire. Wild. To, you conspire to kill your mom, and she's like, "No, nah, you're good." No, she's being like, I, I, no, she's being it's like an incarcerated it was a, like abuse and neglect, and it was like yeah. it was crazy. It was to the point where she was literally a prisoner, and like she and would she never was, be able to. Her leave. mom, her mom was killing her too. Yeah, like absolutely, and like, yeah. it, like it was an absolute. Slowly. And she was never going to get away from her mom. Oh, like she, she was never going to allow. She her was the out. victim. Yeah, she was the victim. Gypsy was the victim, but yeah. she and then, did yeah. have her mom killed. But the thing is. It's it's like the argument of like those who kill their abusers. You're like justice, but you can't as a nation. You can't allow the people to. She did justice what she felt hands. was necessary because so many people failed her. Yes, the government she was desperate. failed her. Friends, family, everyone who was in that like in that case who interacted with that family who could have done something. She yeah. would hop from doctor to doctor like every year, dude. Like just different doctors coming up with new medications, lying medical records, all this stuff. It was absolutely wild and uh it's crazy she's out i know she seems like she's doing well i hope that she has a full beautiful rest of her life yeah and i hope free. maybe we could just like i know it's exciting for everyone because we've learned about her story and a lot of true crime stuff has blown off since she's gotten in prison but hopefully we could just chillax and let her live her life i know yeah, yeah <laughs> at one point she's gonna be, she's gonna be like i'm fine maybe it, she likes it though who knows except i'm yeah. desperate for her to get a tiktok has she done it yet <laughs> 
I don't think so. She, I, She's I, on Instagram. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I did see it. It was like 5.3 million followers. So interesting. Dang. Maybe that's her. Yeah. Then yeah. that would be, I mean, I would love to hear some more story. I would love to hear more of what we don't know about yet. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of what we don't know about yet. Giants in America. <laughs> Yo. Okay. So this guy on YouTube, his name is Mr. Mythos. Okay. He does a great job at explaining everything that I'm going to talk about. He has really cool videos. Like he's very, he's a great storyteller of history and the crazy stuff that's happened in this world. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So America and giants. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of old accounts of um, conquistadors and explorers in early America, South, Central, and North America where they all encountered some sort of giant. Okay. So it's like it's, there's too much evidence to refute that there were, in fact, giants living different parts of the Americas. Larger human beings that we're not accustomed to. Yeah. Yes. They they found bones, right? They have. I don't know if it's real or not, but. I'm sure it is, but they, they always bones. go missing. Yeah. They always go missing. Nick Cage. We need you. <laughs> Where are you? Um, 1539. Uh, there was uh, the conquistador Hernando de Soto. Okay. Very explain, uh, um, famous explorer, conquistador. Not explorer. He was not a good guy. He's not that famous. I've never heard of him. <laughs> but he led this expedition with 600 Spanish soldiers, right? How they hard must that have been back then? Yeah. What? Running 600 soldiers. Yeah, oh, yeah. You don't have Slack. Like, you don't have Slack. We don't have text messages. There's no group chat. There's <laughs> yeah. like, okay, can we just pass this memo around for a second? That is crazy. 600 people. Yeah. I mean, they went by boat and like landed Still, on- Still though, like yeah. to make that plan and everything is crazy. Yeah. Southeast US is where they landed, which it's Alabama is where they were. Okay. And they were just like pillaging and taking gold from like natives and stuff. Not good. And they're sitting in this village one day. And they hear this rustling from the woods and out comes this, they said this giant native American man. And the quote was from, um, a guy that was in the party seeing him. We paused dumb with amazement, a great limb giant, the heads of our tallest men reached, uh, only his breast. Well, so their heads were only so this probably guy. eight to 10 feet tall. And this native American, his name was, he went by black Panther. Wakanda? Yeah, forever. Um, but he was a son of Chief Tuscaloosa. Oh. Because that, that that's a place now, right? Yeah, in Tus Alabama. That's oh, yeah. Isn't that the University yeah. of Alabama's here? Yeah. Yeah, so Chief Tuscaloosa, Black Panther was his son. He told the Spanish, my, fa my father would like to meet you. Would you want to come with us? So, like, yeah, sure. And so they traveled, like, I think a day through the woods. And then they came across this village but it was more of like a city. It was huge. And it, outside of the city, was it was completely surrounded by this giant, giant wood wall. They go in, and in the middle of this village is this giant mound. And on this mound is sitting Chief Tuscaloosa. And he's surrounded by 100 Native American men that were guarding him. They said when he stood up, he was two feet taller than his son. Mm. And they, all the Spanish, they're afraid. They're just like, oh, because this dude just stood up and they're like, this is, a, we've never seen a man Massive. with this stature. But they described him being like, wasn't just tall. It's like all his features were giant. So like he was just this like dense, giant yeah. Native American man. Um, and he's like, hey, let's go, let's go eat. And so they go and eat and um, they're drinking all this stuff. And then, um, uh, Hernando realized he's like, wait a second, where are all the Native Americans? Uh oh. He's like, they're not um, here. And then they look up and they see them like <laughs> starting to slide in spears through the hut. They got attacked. 200 of the 600 soldiers were killed and the rest were able to flee. They're so mad. They came back the next day, attacked the village, killed 2,000 Native Americans, oh, including geez. Black Panther. But Chief Tuscaloosa, 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 
Yes. Right? Was gone. And they were never, never able to find him. He's in Alabama. He's in Alabama. Greenbow, Alabama. <laughs> Dude, probably found a cave or something, man. So that was one of the stories. Okay. And then we get this guy, Amerigo Vespucci, mm. which Americas are named after Amerigo Vespucci. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. Yeah. He was an Italian explorer. and um, That's where the, the America comes from? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. But in 1499, he landed on this Caribbean island, which I've never heard of until today. Uh, Cura- Curaçao? Curaçao. Curaçao. Corazon. Curaçao. Right? C-U-R-A-C-A-O. Curaçao. I think that's how they said it. <laughs> but it's really close to Aruba. And um, he talked about they're, they're out of fresh water, so they just landed on this island. When they got off, they noticed that there's these giant footprints. And so they're like, these are not normal-sized footprints. So they followed them. They went to this village, and there was only – all the men were gone, and there was only five women. But they said these women were so tall that the same thing, their heads only came up to their chest. And – they were so fascinated by them. They were go- uh, going to attempt to kidnap them yeah. to bring them back to sh- basically show off like we caught giants. These large <laughs> women. And then as they're conspiring, the men come into the village and he says, these men were so giant that even if they were on their knees, they're still like <gasps> two feet taller than us. So just, and they were like, <gasps> Golly, freaked out and so they were like yeah we're not going to do anything yeah and so the men escorted them back to their ships and basically like never come back here so that was another story jeez um and then there was one where this guy alonzo l alvarez de Pin- pineda pineda spanish explorer 1519 encountered giants in the mississippi region wrote all about it um his quote was a race of giants um, from then, or he said that they were 11 or 10 to 11 palms in height, which I looked up like, what is that? It's like basically a foot. Yeah. It's like 10 to 11 inches. <clears throat> so these dudes are like 11 feet tall. Golly. Oh my gosh. But this one was the craziest. Um, the Patagonia giants. Oh, which is not a country. It's a, region. it's a region. And it's not just a brand. <laughs> Correct. Got it. That didn't create the name from themselves. Got it. <laughs> so 1520, Italian scholar Antonio uh, geez, Antonio Picafetta. 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 It, uh, Antonio Picafetta. Hey. Um, he was traveling with Ferdinand uh, Man, uh, Mangellan. Mangellan? Mangellan? Magellan. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He's the super Magellan. famous. Yeah. So he was traveling with uh, Ferdinand Magellan, um, who was the first to try to circumnavigate the world. And Correct. so they're going around the tip of South America, and a storm blew in, and they had to basically run aground and stuff and wait out the storm. And they were there for a couple, like six weeks or something. But for two weeks, they didn't see any humans whatsoever. And then one day they were on like one of their little boats going around like different parts of the coast. And they said they saw this giant man on the beach who was butt naked and was dancing and singing and throwing dirt on his head and stuff. And they they said that he had two hearts painted on his face. Super weird. And they came across him and it, it startled the giant. He was like afraid of him. Yeah. And then like through like broken sign language, the guy, the giant kept on pointing to them and pointing up like basically you came from up there you came from the sky you came from the heavens and the giant was pointing at them the giant was pointing at the the, okay uh, the crew and stuff and they're like he's like you came from up there and so the giant led them in to his village and everyone was like saw them and they started celebrating and dancing and singing and pointing to them and pointing up like you've come back basically (gasps) oh whoa that's really weird, right? Yeah. Like, you are our gods. Yeah. Like, you came down again. And so they're celebrating that and stuff, right? Um, But they had, like, just, like, really weird encounters to where, like, these giants were, like, really nice, 
but really dumb. Mm -hmm. And so like one of the people on the boat had a mirror and they showed the giant, his reflection and it scared him so bad that he literally threw four men like away from him. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Like it was just weird. Yeah. But then it was time for them to go. And Magellan's like, yo, we got to take some of these giants back with us. <laughs> right. Because well, he's like, we have to show yeah. the people of our world that giants do in fact exist. And the way they did it was super sad because these giants were pretty dumb. Yeah. They had all these like jewelry and trinkets, the Magellan and his crew did. And they're like giving them to some of them and stuff. And they're like, oh, and then they put chains on them mm. and hammered them down. And they didn't know that they're being imprisoned. They yeah. thought it was just jewelry. Yeah. And then they took two of them. And they, unfortunately, these giant men died on the boat because they said that they were, they ate so much, but then they would like grab rats and just eat them without oh. doing anything. And like they got sick and died. But, yeah. um, Patagonia means place of big feet. Wow. Really? Yeah, pata, I think in Spanish, means foot. And the wow. Patagonia together means place of big feet. So we named the giants on the boat Patagonians. Wow. Interesting. And these, that's just a little taste of the giants that were in the Americas. Wow. Wow. That was super cool. Yeah. I love that. Golly, that is so scary, though, to think about. Yeah. I mean, well, what's, have you seen what's the, the old maps? Like old old world maps of like no. where they paint giants and stuff. No. All right. Keep talking for a second. But that's, I mean, I don't want to go down this rabbit hole too much, but the idea of like them just not being very intelligent, like the ideas that they came from intelligent beings, fallen beings, right? If we're going to go the biblical route, but then this is what year would this be? You know, this would be the 1600s. It was the 1500s. 15, 1500s. Yeah. So at that time you probably have a lot of giants that are being killed and you have very few. So, Family members are, you know, they're co like they're yeah, yeah, cohabitating. Yeah. Here's a drawing. Yeah, I mean, it had to have happened. And that so way. there's like incest happening within monk giants, and like I don't know, that's just a weird. You're probably getting a weird mixture of giants. I don't know. That's strange. For sure. Here, here's a drawing. I think it's from someone that was part of the crew that they drew of their encounters with these giants in Patagonia. Is that not insane? Yeah. I mean, golly, how could. Uh, <laughs> I that's mean, just wild. giants. Like, the baby is bigger than the dude. Yeah. That's crazy. I just can't imagine. When you talked about th them being first on the beach, and then you see the, you know, you hear something in the woods, and then seeing something that tall walk out, that would be, so, it reminds me of Big Fish, the movie. Yeah, when yeah. When he says oh, the yeah. giant for the first time, it's like, how staggering that so would be. So, this was on the map of Patagonia with these giant men, like, next to a little dude. Wow. Yeah. But, yeah, Golly, crazy stuff. Holy dude. That's weird. Giants, super, baby. Super, super, super strange. What confused me is when you said the guy had heart symbols on his face. Well, yeah, they said he painted like hearts on his, he had painted like hearts on his face. That's what the dude said. It would have had to have been like realistic hearts or they would have had, so I looked I don't it think, up. Yeah. The heart symbol originated in the 1200s. Oh, interesting. In France, but that means that would, they would have had to communicate with the outside world. Yeah, or maybe it was just like a symbol that they had. That looked similar to a heart. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Either way. That is strange. I don't know. Now, you talking about Magellan made me kind of think about how people, like, you know, like, Brittany Broski put out a video. She was like, isn't it crazy how people just, like, traveled the world and made maps and drawings of wherever they've been? And then, like, we later on in life figure out that it was exactly right. It's like, good job. <laughs> like, dude, I've, that incredible? I've thought about that so much. It's like crazy. how detailed they could get coastlines and yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, how do you do that? Especially with the, like the, I wouldn't understand. It's like the, well, the waves are here one day. The waves are there. It's like, you can't, no, we can't yeah. move it. You got to move it constantly. Um, but I, I think it's like one of the oldest maps. This was a weird one. It had basically the whole Eastern side of the Americas mapped out perfectly but then it went down and almost looked like it connected to Antarctica. Really? I bet and, it did, though. But in Antarctica, he had palm trees and stuff. <gasps> because it did, though. Wow. Because it's it weird. Did, though. Wow. It's weird. Yeah. It did, though. Yeah. <laughs> we know it did. Yeah. Because they say they find it under the ice. But if, if a dude drew that out, and this was like maybe the 1300s. Yeah. How did it get covered in ice between the 1300s or so and now? Bro, 2,000 years ago, our world was underwater. It was longer than that. Oh. 
2,000 years ago was when Jesus was here. True. <laughs> when was Pangea a thing? Was that millions of years ago? So they you, don't millions, you don't know right? about Pangea? Yeah. <laughs> um, some say millions. Others say about like 9,000 or so. Is that when they drifted? The continental drift? Is that what it, they're talking about? When Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, when Pangea was like, Pangea's like all the continents were together. Yeah. Now, have you heard the theory of why, like, they don't know why, but, like, how the continental drip theory? Drip? Because if you look at the map, every continent <laughs> looks like it's coming to a point at the end. It looks like it's dripping. Oh. And so there's theories. They just don't know why, but everything points down. Gravity. And so that's the thing. It's like, what, like, I mean, like, what does that mean? How does that happen for everything? So well, Isn't it weird that almost, is it every river except the Nile flows south? Oh, I don't know. Is that true? That's, that's crazy. Is it true? Do you know? I thought it. I thought the it was Nile, all of them except the St. John's. The St. John's goes north, right? Hold on. You know this. We've talked about this before. I do. I My we first, talk about so many things now. It's like to the point where I, I will. I send Josh the same meme probably once a month. I think because, just because I'm like this is hilarious, but I always forget that what because we Josh about. said my first appearance, um, that he does the camping trip. On the St. John's. Okay. I don't know. I have they no idea. They flow in all directions, says the internet. Yeah, it does. It says that's oh. a common misconception. Oh. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> so in this conversation. <laughs> just I'm just literally like having a self-crisis. Just, what in the world? What? That's crazy. Hey, I have a question. You know Colorado? Yes. You know, like on a map, right? You could probably identify it, yeah. right? How many sides does Colorado have? Four. Four. Wrong. What? what oh. if I told you Colorado has 697 sides? Well, then that's stupid. No. Nope. Or is it just like doing this? <laughs> yeah, but do you know why it happened that way? No. I heard the craziest story. So they're going out and they're like, you know, uh, I don't know what you say whenever you're going out and you're finding all the state lines and you're, you know, writing it down for like the government. Yeah. And um, they kept adjusting. Like they kept going over and they would look back and like, wait a minute, we're in the wrong spot. You know, they would look at all like compass and everything like that. And it was because, uh, you know, the latitude and longitude, like they would, they wouldn't account for that. So shifting over, they would, they would slowly oh. start going. And so they had to keep redirecting this so whole funny. time. That's and crazy. so that's how, how Colorado has like 697 sides. Wow. <laughs> it's wild. If you like zoom in, you can dummies. really see it. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I could have figured that out. Every other state like, yeah, we got to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> Colorado, get your act together. Come on. Oh, um, what do you want to talk about on the Patreon episode? Oh, I have a, a Harry Potter thing that I did. I have a Harry Potter thing too. Really? <gasps> yes. Nice. Okay, Patreon. What, is it a, does it involve Malfoy? No. Ooh, nice. I do. Patreon.com forward slash ninjas or butterflies. Go there to see what we're going to talk about. Right, Corey? Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. Guys. Sundaycoolswag.com. Guys, if you want to um, support your local podcast. And just let everyone know how much you love us. Go to SundayCoolSwag.com. Order some swag there. Or if you want custom merch, you know where to go. SundayCool.com. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Hey, make sure you give us five stars on everything. Right, Corey? Five stars. On everything. And everyone comment, yay, Corey. Yay. yay. Tell, us, tell us your favorite thing about Corey. Yeah, tell us your favorite thing about Corey. Okay, guys. Love you. Love you. Bye Miss bye. you, Andrew. Miss you, Andrew. Mwah. You handsome boy. Handsome. Oh, I'm going to go get that guy. Come here. Did I say ninja? Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's most beautiful creatures. Has an empty your mind? You were martial arts. Fuck ninjas and Yes. All right, I'm sweating. My palms are sweating. <laughs> Knees weak, arms are heavy. Well, this has been... <laughs>